Hay, who's joining us now uh, live from Los Angeles. Thank you very much indeed for coming on the news hour. Uh, so presumably they want more money, but is this dispute also about working conditions and indeed the security of their jobs going forward? Well, obviously it's been a very difficult time. A lot of these workers are on minimum the sort of minimum rate that's negotiated. So that rate gets negotiated by the union and it is the union who have the authority to strike. They already managed to get that authority to strike and they negotiate with the producers and, and TV and, and movie producers here to kind of get a deal going forward. Now that deadline is at midnight tonight to get a deal for the, for better pay in terms of better conditions yes there's a lot of like these kind of like smaller writer rooms that are happening so that means there are fewer writers more pressure on the writers that they're not getting the residuals and the money going forward you might think well these writers earn a lot of money they do not a lot of them are really living paycheck to paycheck in a gig economy where more of them than ever are getting paid the minimum amount that you can pay a writer um, per that agreement, while a lot of these big streaming giants and a lot of the industry is making more money than ever. So the writers are saying, well, hang on, you wouldn't be able to do any of that without us. And we at least deserve our fair chunk of the, of the cherry. And presumably it's not just the 11,000 or so writers who'll be affected by this, because clearly across the country businesses will be affected, but nowhere more so than in LA, where so many other industries must rely on TV and the movies. Well, yeah, obviously it impacts all around, but Hollywood is a very unionized industry. It has been for about a hundred years or so. And the impact you will see sort of bit by bit, because what will happen immediately, pretty much, that's certainly what happened in 2007 when there was a, a writer's strike, is that those late night shows that have writers who are writing on the day jokes. So the shows where the writers are working and their content goes out that night, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, uh, Seth Meyers, uh, Stephen Colbert, uh, and actually Saturday Night Live, all of those sort of daily topical or weekly topical shows will be the ones that are first impacted. And they will have uh, something in place. I mean, in 2007, they straight away started to run reruns. Well, what do advertisers not like? reruns they like ratings so what all of the industry will be doing is saying hey how do we get around this with late night they can't really they will then kind of look what other shows have we got in the bag this is where it has the impact on sort of viewers and on the other parts of the industry in 2007 that really was the place where reality television became such a big bite in fact the apprentice with donald trump really wouldn't have probably got another season but there weren't any script shows so that got on there and a lot of lot of reality uh, shows exploded because they didn't need writers but they still needed to fill all of these TV hours in ways that they weren't using the writers so first place you'll see it is in late night those daily daily news comedy shows that are a big deal here in the States and then you will start to see it with the dramas and then the movie industry assuming that it goes on for some time it that is a much slower pace. So you won't see the impact of that towards later in uh, the year. But yeah, of course, the impact, if they can't make shows, is going to be industry-wide. <laughs> but there's so much content out there, Carolina. What's your feeling about how this is going to play out? These, these big companies like Netflix and Prime and Disney, are they going to be dictated to? Or do they perhaps feel they can, uh, they can, hold, they can hold their own and call the writer's bluff? Well, that's the negotiation, isn't it? I mean, they have got the authority to strike and they will no doubt be holding out for that. Not, they say nothing happens in Hollywood without an element of fear. So there will be some fear for that. The, the bosses of places like Netflix will be looking, saying, well, what other content can we run that doesn't need a writer to be at the top of it? So that is really what they will be doing. They'll also kind of like hold back on a few shows soap operas another show where they where they turn around quite a lot and use writers so those are the ones that get very heavily impacted and the people at the top of those companies will be saying we think this 
strike is likely to happen. There's certainly no nowhere near getting uh, any sort of agreement the way it is at the moment with that deadline getting closer and closer. So it looks very okay. likely that a strike is going to go ahead. Um, but, you know, how how they fill those hours and the, and the power struggle is exactly what will be going on right now. OK, no doubt all very secretive, but we thank you very much for putting us in the picture. Carol, thank you very much for joining us.